Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. During this video, we're going to show you how to hook up an Ethernet IP EX260 serial interface device to the PLC of your choosing. During the video, we're going to show you the parts that you need and show you exactly step by step how to assemble them. In the end, we're going to turn the power on to make sure that everything works. Let's get started. These are the parts and part numbers that you will need in order to connect your EX260 to your PLC. These are the tools that you will need to hook everything up. Next, let's connect the valve manifold to the EX260. Once together, use the Allen bolts to fasten them securely. Use the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench and tighten them to the specified torque. Next, let's connect the power supply cable to the EX260 using the M12 connector. And on the other side, strip the wires and connect them to the power supply accordingly. Polarity does matter. Next, let's make the field bus connection from the middle port of the EX260 using the M12 connector. And on the other end, use the RJ45 connector to connect to the switch. To maintain the IP rating, make sure the top M12 connector is either plugged or has a cable in it. Also, make sure the EX260 is grounded. To connect the PLC to the network, in our case, using Ethernet IP, we need an RJ45 connection on one end, and an RJ45 connection at the switch. And finally, let's put power to the PLC, the switch, and the EX260. We need to check for communication. Turn on the power. And let's look for lights and communication. We have them there, there, and there. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we'll show you how to configure your Ethernet IP EX260.